We're going to draw the Lewis structure for gold 1 phosphide or Au3P. Gold is a metal. It comes from the left hand side of this staircase on the periodic table. And phosphorus is a non metal. It comes from the right hand side of the periodic table. That's significant because a metal and non-metal always combine to make an ionic compound. And ionic compounds are made by a transfer of electrons. Now, the question becomes, how many electrons does each of those atoms bring? Gold, being a transition metal, it's actually tough to decide how many electrons to bring with it. The trick is, whatever the charge was on gold, that's how many electrons you need to give it in the Lewis structure originally. Gold 1 phosphide, the gold has a charge of positive 1. Now you can also get that from the formula. Phosphorus likes to have a charge of minus 3. We know that because it's 1, 2, 3 electrons short of being like a noble gas. So the minus 3 charge on phosphorus is what crisscrossed down to require 3 golds. And the one that's not written on phosphorus had been crisscrossed from the charge that had been on gold. This gold had a charge of positive one. So in the Lewis structure, I want you to give yourself a gold with one valence electron. Great. Now phosphorus, the non-metal, is easier. Group 15... Each of those atoms brings five electrons with it. So I'm going to draw my P with one, two, three, four, five valence electrons. I didn't make that one very clear, so I'm going to scratch it out and redraw it. There we go. Now please note I spread them out before I doubled them up. Non-metals want a full octet of eight electrons in their outer shell. That's called the octet rule. And so this phosphorus, having five electrons, needs three extra to complete its octet. Gold, a metal, is willing to give up its electron. And so it will give its electron to phosphorus. And now the phosphorus has six electrons in its outer shell. But that's still not eight. So where is phosphorus going to get two more? The answer is two more gold atoms with their one valence electron each will donate their electrons to pair up with these unpaired electrons in the original phosphorus. The result is that you have a phosphorus atom with one, two, three, four, five plus one, two, three extra electrons, one from each of the golds, and it now has a charge of minus three. That's three extra electrons compared to when it started. You have three gold atoms, and they brought one electron each, but gave it away. So draw the AU with no electrons around it, and it's a plus one charge for each of them, because it's missing one electron each. Now you're going to have to draw that three times, because you needed three of these golds to satisfy the octet that was on phosphorus. But that's also why the formula is Au3P. One, two, three golds needed to complete the octet on one phosphorus. There's your completed Lewis structure. Here's you showing the transfer of electrons to make it happen. And here's the end of the video. Thanks for being with me and best of luck.